As the title says, you don't need a Peter McKinnon backpack to create. And you don't need to be really smart to understand that... <sighs> microphone. <sighs> so it's not hard to understand that this sentence is true. And I'm making this video just to open up your eyes a bit, because last week I posted a video and I think I said something controversial and... Here's a clip. Yeah, cause back two years ago the real slogan was to record with what you can, but since then YouTube, YouTube really changed the game. Cause in order to get a normal paycheck it's not enough to fill up your channel with great videos. You will need some juicy Amazon affiliate links as well, and the more expensive the object is, the more the YouTuber will get if you buy it. And yeah, I got some feedback, you know, some of them were good and some of them were... Uh, you know, nowadays you can say anything on the internet, even if you say that the sky is blue, there will be some people who will be like, well, technically the sky is not blue. So let's just keep rolling with this thought after the intro. You survived the intro, and then I'll ask you to survive the next couple of seconds because I'm pretty sure my mom has no clue who's Peter McKinnon, so let me introduce you to this person. Who is Peter McKinnon? McKinnon is a Canadian Jason Momoa, but the muscles and the warrior face. But he is still a charismatic, friendly dude with his mysterious magician past. He joined YouTube a couple years ago and until his hair grew out he became famous. And he is the reason why a lot of young kids are asking for a $2000 camera for Christmas. He is Peter McKinnon. So the whole story starts with this guy and because of two products that he has on the market. One is the backpack and one is the ND filter. You should already know about this because I think you're already following him. And if you don't, shame on you. So now he has his name on two or more products along with his Fly the Flag company, but let's see the prices for the backpack and the ND filter. As of right now, the 77mm neutral density filter on Amazon is $299.99. And the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Camera Bag is $399.99 on Amazon. Okay, I gave you the facts, now let me save this. <sighs> Keep on rolling. Now with the prices, I am not blaming him. From a guy who was just taking pictures of grass in his father's backyard, he became a photographer, a videographer, a businessman and a father. And let's just take the two last one. If you would be responsible for a whole family, and if you would be as maximalist as Mr. McKinnon, um, you would be dumb to not give your name to products like that. Because the products are good, but buying them... Well, here comes a part when I have to say again, I'm not blaming him. I am blaming you. Because you probably just bought your first refurbished camera for $300 along with the kit lens. You probably record with a Rode Video Micro and now you want to buy a backpack that's as expensive as your entire set. Please be smarter because that backpack is the unicorn on the market. Instead of investing or instead of spending that much money, just buy a cheaper backpack and with the rest of the money just travel or or buy more gear. Plus, there is a high chance that after a couple months you won't even like this hobby slash profession. So then why the hell do you want to invest that much in it? Just to sell the backpack on eBay after a month? <sighs> Let me recommend you a backpack that I have for two years now and I'm still using it. As you can see, this backpack is called Low Pro or Low Wee Pro or, or something. It's a fast pack because you're running fast in it. Low Pro. Low Pro. It has a opening tool and a cinematic zipper area. If you rotate your backpack like this, you can hold mustard flavored soda in it. And also you can, what is that? Oh, a vinyl. Yeah, don't keep your laptop, keep a vinyl in there. What else? Oh yeah, a monster head. You can keep a monster head in the backpack. But more importantly, this backpack is made for your camera. I'm using this because it's cheap, but if I need to talk about the protectiveness, the comfiness or the looking great aspect, all of these three would fall above acceptable. As you can see on the videos, this backpack is not looking as high quality as Mr. McKinnon's backpack. But photography and videography was never about how good looking your gear is. 
these arts were always about how good can you use your tools. So for this reason, if we're talking about backpack and tools, let me show you what can I fit into this backpack. And this is my normal gear. If I would go somewhere like New York for two days, uh, this, would be, this would be my camera gear. And I'm confident that if you're a male and you don't have any kids, uh, this kit, this set would be enough for a two day trip for you as well. All right, without wasting each other's time, I will show you what fits in this backpack. I'm recording this on a third world country style overhead rig. So let's get into this. First thing first, I have two clamps on the backpack. Now on the side, I typically have my travel tripod that comes almost everywhere. And then I have three batteries that I take out from the front and I use these batteries for my cannon. I have this bracelet on the cannon so nobody steals it. And if I take out the laptop charger, this is how the backpack looks like. I take out the camera, a 50 millimeter lens. That's the nifty 50. If I open up the top, that's where I keep my video camera in a small pouch like that. I take out the video micro mini. I think that's how it's called with the cable and then the GH5 with three batteries. And of course, I always carry lens wipes with me. Now I have one additional SD card and if I take out my notepad, which I carry everywhere and I take out my laptop with this handy then the additional hub, I have a mouse pad because you know, and then in here, I also have an additional 64 gigabyte Samsung SD card. Now I have the mouse and of course, if I have the batteries, I will need battery charger. This is the GH5 and the Canon battery charger. I also have a five terabyte and a two terabyte external hard drives. I have an additional battery. When you're picking this up, make sure that you can check if it's charged. Purple Panda, these are my lev mics. Now videographers carry gap tape. I use this construction tape. It's a lot cheaper, it's a dollar. Of course I have a small but strong flashlight with me. This is strong if I need to look around in my backpack, but I also carry like an LED, a lot stronger and a lot bigger. And I only bought this for like 10 bucks. Now I have a bunch of cables in here for the phone and all the cameras. And I also have some napkins from McDonald's. This is useful when you're recording your face, you know, wipe, wipe. And then I guess more cable. Of course I have a pen because I'm a pen user, a phantom pen user. Now that we mentioned McKinnon's ND filter, I have a I have another filter. I need to charge my watch and ibuprofen because you never know. And this one is crazy. I don't keep my contact lenses in here. This is like baby cream that you can put on yourself because when you walk a lot, you need it. Now I have a small little perfume, soap, headphones. I have pepper spray because again, you never know. I have, I have headphones that are connecting to the laptop. And of course I have my pocket knife always with me. Typically that's in my pocket and I have a little USB flash drive. It's 128 gigs, useful. Now I have my contacts for two, three, four days. I have a fast charger for my phone and I have a lighter. Again, you never know, it can be pretty important. Now I have a black shirt, socks and underwear that I would just hide right here. Additionally, I have some doggy poop bags. You can use it even for like plastic gloves or just carry stuff. And this is it. The bag is empty and this is all the gear that fits into a $60 backpack. All right, well, I don't want it to confuse anyone. My title and my thumbnail is 50% clickbait, but the other 50% is, is legit. And as I said at the beginning of this video, that 50% is for you to open up your eyes that you don't need a tool for $400 at the beginning of your career. First buy your main gear, then learn how to use it. And then, then maybe start thinking about a $400 backpack. But you will always have new lenses, new camera, new lights, everything coming out. But again, if you have a lot of money and you're only doing this to support your favorite YouTuber, I don't have that kind of a money, but I'm still waiting for a wonderful coffee with Mr. McKinnon. I would bring the Chemex, you would bring the coffee. 
that would be great. All right, well, let's finish this video because it's, it's time to... So thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Watch another video. Bye-bye.